Avraham Avinu is tested, Lech Lecha Me'atzeva. Leave everything is, which is familiar to you and start walking. Go to a land which you are not familiar with. A tremendous test. But Chazal tell us in Medrash Rabbah that this test was as hard as the test of the Akedah. Chazal say this Akzeir HaShava. Lech Lecha, the same words used by the Akedah, Lech Lecha Leret Samoria. To tell you, the last test, the first test, they're equal. They were very, very difficult. And if that's the case, we should ask about Loit. Loit accompanies Avraham. Lech Lecha Me'atzecha, Loit joined him. So why is it that Chazal say that as long as Lot was, was with him, he was a Rasha, and therefore Kodesh Baruch Hu didn't speak to Avraham? Why is it that Chazal say the only zchus that they found for Lot is that he kept quiet when Avraham said about Sarah, his wife, no, this is my sister. Lot didn't say the truth. He didn't say, no, 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 no. She is his wife. That is the merit for which Lot was saved from Sodom when the angels came to, to rescue him. Why is it that Chazal didn't say? He has another schus, the schus of Lech Lecha. Just like Avram was tested, Lot was tested as well. explained. There are two Jews who get up very, very early in the morning when it's so cold outside. The first one runs to the bakery and he gets a fresh, fresh hot roll and he runs back home to make sure he gives it to his son before he goes to learn in Cheda. Ah, oh, what a eat. What Monsieur was nefesh. What love for Torah. The other one is the baker, who he also runs to the bakery. He bakes the rolls. What does he do with them? He goes to the marketplace and sells them. That's not Mesir Usnefesh. That's called work, a job. A lot of people risk their lives in all kinds of different jobs that they have. They climb on trees and different other risky businesses. Chazal explained to us, Lloyd had a calculation. Yes, he went with Avram, but why did he go? Lloyd said to himself, this is a 75-year-old guy. He is married and he has no children. Where is all his money going? It's going to go to me. It's a good idea for me to accompany him. This was business. Lloyd used the same calculation when he fights, when his shepherds fight with the shepherds of Avram. Lloyd already imagined the entire land belongs to Avram. He is going to die one day. It's going to be mine. And therefore he conducts himself as if he is the owner of the entire land. He's the Balabas. He is the Balabos over something that Avram didn't even get yet. For Lloyd, it's business. It's not a test. Avram goes with Lashem Shemaim because the Kodesh Baruch Hu said, Lech lecha me'atzecho. So Kodesh Baruch Hu says, and Avram runs to do it. Lloyd, he was in business. Therefore, the only merit that Chazal finds for Lloyd is to say that he remained quiet when Avram Avinu said about his wife, this is my sister. But when you go to work, that's not such a big deal. Everybody goes to work. What we can take from here is when we do, what we do every single day, we should have the kavana, the shem shamayim, that can elevate a regular job to a service of Hashem, to a mitzvah, a very lofty one.